Spokane Community College Library Session for Apple Ed 121 Applied Written Communication Part 1 Why Use Libraries Hi everybody, I'm Janine, one of your SCC librarians. The objective of this video is to ensure that students know 1. that libraries exist to serve all people in the community and 2. that libraries provide a variety of free services and resources. Later, we'll dive into how to use the college library, but first let's clarify why libraries exist. The traditional purpose of libraries is to provide free information for everyone in the community to use and share. As you know, libraries historically fulfilled this mission by collecting information in the form of books, which anyone could borrow. Later, libraries began to collect and loan all types of information resources, including music, movies, maps, and periodicals, which are magazines, newspapers, and journals. Librarians selected materials, and people in the community suggested items for the collection also. Before the internet, libraries were the primary place where people could get informed. Because no one person could afford to buy thousands of books, periodicals, movies, etc., it made sense for the library to collect, house, and care for these items and to loan them out for everyone to share. College libraries hold to the same principle of providing free, loanable collections for the community at the college to share. The SCC library collects information sources which our students may need during their program of study. Nowadays, libraries collect both physical and electronic items, which you can access online. Every item loaned at the library is free. You don't pay when you borrow books, movies, magazines, or equipment. Nor do you pay to access library databases, which contain streaming videos, ebooks, e audiobooks, and other electronic information. Even library late fines are becoming a thing of the past. In 2019, the Spokane Public Library ceased charging fines for late returned items. People are, however, charged for a lost item if something's not returned within two weeks. Many college libraries are embracing this trend as well. What are some of the reasons why you, your family, and friends might want to use libraries? When I describe libraries, I usually say that we provide people with free stuff and service. In addition to stuff, books, movies, etc., libraries also provide a service. We help people find and get information, and we can help you make decisions about which information is trustworthy or not. When you consult with professional librarians, they'll help you locate credible information sources. This is a valuable service in this age when it's challenging to tell accurate information from fake news. Whether you're researching leisure pursuits like travel or hobbies, or if your information need is more critical. Perhaps you seek support in opening a business, finding free tax help, investigating a health issue. Librarians are happy to help. Also, while some information sources are free on the web, others require payment. If you hit a paywall when searching the web, ask a librarian for help. In general, you do not need to pay for information sources you need for research, especially information for research at school and college. Libraries purchase collections of articles, ebooks, and other research sources for you. We'll also connect you with our network of partner libraries who may have items we lack. Lastly, public libraries have services for people in every phase of life, from infants to seniors. We're dedicated to supporting you, your family, and friends throughout your lifetime. Collections. So, what services and resources can you use through your public library? Libraries aren't just for books anymore. In addition to all the typical information sources, libraries are dramatically expanding their services these days to include classes, performances, equipment loan, and tons of electronic resources you can access from home. As an example, Spokane Public Library, SPL, features on their homepage workshops and tools for researching genealogy, learning how to use apps, story time for children, free music lessons, meeting and co-worker spaces, and crafting events. If you want to start a business, the library provides robust support. SPL has the second largest entrepreneur support research collection in the United States, second only to New York Public Library. There are library resources for both children and adults. Libraries also have exam prep tools. If you or someone you know needs to take the GED, a college entrance exam, professional exams like those for electricians and nurses, or any other high stakes test like a US citizenship exam, the library can help you prepare. You can borrow family passes for museums, the Mac and Mobius Children's Museum and Science Center, Spokane Symphony, and a Washington Discover Pass, all for free. Libraries also have online magazines, ebooks, audiobooks, and streaming video databases like this one called Canopy. It works like Netflix, but Canopy is free through the library. All SCC and SFCC students are automatically approved for a Spokane Public Library barcode. Use this barcode to check out books and to access most SPL databases from home. To learn more about getting an SPL barcode, ask any librarian. 
There are way too many services and resources to cover here, but check out the websites of your local public library to learn more about 3D printers, computer labs, tax help, video and music production studios, nature and star watching kits, sports and musical equipment loan, online classes, and a plethora of services for parents and kids, including homeschooling support, homework help, and reading improvement programs for children and adults. Libraries are evolving quickly, and there are new programs available daily. If you ever have questions, just contact the library. There are lots of ways to connect and contact staff and professional librarians. Here are some examples from Spokane County, and college libraries like SCC and EWU have 24-7 live chat research help from professional librarians like myself and my colleagues. We help students any time of the day or night. Want to learn more? Contact anyone at your local library or your college library.